Hello everybody, welcome back to Boston. Today I'm in an area where that has changed quite a bit since I was here the last time. New houses being built, new structures, new views, so let's have a look around here. And this is the area of TD Garden North Station. The garden itself has not changed that much. I was inside there for two hockey games on this trip. I was there for game three and for game four. I took some uh, footage of game four so you can have a look inside the garden, have a look up in the corner. There's the video of the hockey game. But today it's not about hockey, it's about the area here. And this nice green area, yeah, it's pretty noisy because standing right on top of the uh, tunnel exit, the I-93 comes over ground here. It goes over the Tobin Bridge further to the north. So it's a little noisy, but what can you do, yeah? The garden, yeah, of course you have the Bruins and the Celtics playing here. Both symbols, both emblems, logos are here on the wall. And let's talk over about the new stuff. Because when I was here the last time, the building in front of TD Garden, this one, was not there. This was, uh, yeah, there was an entrance to the parking spot, parking lot. But this building was not there. The area on the other side here on Causeway Street was not that modern either. So this uh, tavern in the square, this is completely new. I think the CVS uh, pharmacy where the, the tea sign is over there, that was already there. The buildings behind on the left were also already in place. But here on the right, this is everything brand new. Okay, so I just jumped over Causeway Street to get a better view from the other side because this looks wow. The Verizon building here which is architectural, very, very interesting. They made some uh, bars down here. You see the banners, kitchen and tap, hub hall, not bad. And right there in the middle, we'll come to that shortly, is the entrance to uh, TD Garden. streets here. Uh, this is everything as it was, except some bars closed at my favorite bar here in Boston, which was the Boston Beer Works. It's not there anymore. But for that we have this entrance to the TD Garden. New hotel here on the left. Another big building, I don't know what that is for. everything completely remade. Of course one thing that had to remain is the statue. This is of course in front of TD Garden. The statue was always in front of TD Garden but it moved here. This is of course Bobby Orr. The goal which won the Bruins the Stanley Cup back in 1970 when they swept the St. Louis Blues and he scored the winner in overtime and thereafter falling down cheering Bobby was a legend and of course as this is not only a stadium but also a station the entrance to the station where commuter rail and the Amtrak are going and the MBTA orange line is running here too and the green line as well. The entrance to the tracks is down there to the left. But this setup here is indeed very nice. 
right now, day of recording. The playoffs are still going on for the Bruins and the Celtics. Bruins will have the next home game uh, in uh, on Thursday. So, uh, day after tomorrow? No, oh. tomorrow. Yeah, not today, tomorrow. And the Celtics, I don't know, I'm not that much into basketball. Yeah, as mentioned, the area here, everything is new, everything looks really very good. Flower set up here, right next to the street. Some stones, yeah, seating arrangement I set there before the game. And this street here uh, has a special interest for me. It's Friend Street. There used to be a hostel. It's not in place anymore, but that's where I spent the first nights when I was here in Boston. That wasn't bad either. As a 20-something year old kid, yeah, what do you do? You don't know what to do? You go to a hostel. Why not? And some of the shops, like this Halftime King of Pizza, for example, Sullivan's Tap to its right, they were already in place when I was here the first time, back in 2003. And the area here, it is as it always was when I was here. There were a lot of homeless people hanging around next to the shops around TD Garden. They're having a hard life. Now it's getting better when the temperatures are rising, but it's been a little cold over the last days. So I try to help them out as good as I can, giving them a dollar here, a dollar there. What else can you do as a tourist? And yeah, Causeway Street ends here turns into uh, Le Masne Street to the right and Stanford Street to the left. And the west end of Boston is starting here. Welcome to the west end city of Boston. And this building, surely architecturally very interesting as well. This also was here always. Residential buildings here, of course, as well. Not that beautiful, but they're doing their duty. So, and now I need a coffee. I will uh, keep on walking around Boston and see what else I can find. Thank you anyway very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you soon, back in Boston. Have a good time, goodbye.